Well, it's Easter week, and we're celebrating Jesus. He came to this earth and died, was buried, and resurrected on the third day so we could have a place to go when we die. He died for all of our sins. How do we know this? Because in Romans it tells us, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So uh, how do we know what sin is? We can look at 1 John 3, 4, that says, For sin is a transgression of the law. So if we look at the laws, we can look at the laws that Moses got from God with the Ten Commandments. Everyone's heard of most of them. You shall not steal, you shall not covet, you shall not have any other gods above God. You shall not murder, commit adultery. And in, even in the New Commandment, even in the New Testament, Jesus said that you should love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, and soul. He also said that you should love your brother as yourself. So... When we place these things and look at them in our lives, have we committed any of these sins? Have we went against the law in any way? Everyone has. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So we have to look at it that way. Because in the beginning, God created everything. He created heaven and earth. He created Adam and Eve. And that is where the first sin took place. Adam and Eve, Eve was tempted in the garden to eat of the tree of knowledge. Satan tempted her. And she got Adam to eat from that, from the from the tree he ate the apple and at that point they knew right and wrong and they knew what sin was so God cast them out of the garden so all through the Old Testament you can read through and see where everyone's fell and come short of the glory of God we all the Bible tells us like I said in the beginning for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God so with us have being guilty on judgment day we need a savior that's why God sent his only son that whosoever believes in them shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible tells us, Whosoever shall call upon my name shall be saved. I remember when I was 10 years old, I remember the verse stuck in my head all the time, that if, uh, in Revelations, it said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man open it, I will come in and I will sup with him. That verse always stuck in my head. And one night I was laying in bed and I prayed and I said, God, I know you're knocking on my heart and I want to put you as my savior. And from that day forward, God came into my heart and he saved me. The Bible says that God, uh, God will never leave nor forsake us. In my whole life, God's always been there. He's always led me and guided me. I've not always done right and done what he wanted me to do. But every time you, f you feel uh, conviction and it brings you back. Every time. If I ever did anything like the world, because God tells us in the Bible, says, be not like the world or the things of it. So anytime I participate in those things, I just feel this instant guilt. And God would call me back every time and I'd get back in church and read the Bible. And if you do that and you repent of your sins and ask Jesus to continue to lead you and guide you in his word, stay instant in season and out of season like the Bible says, he can, he'll guide and lead our every way. We have to put all our trust and faith in God and he can do it he can do it all if we look at some more scripture that tells us about who is Jesus Jesus said in John 14 6 he said I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto me cometh unto the Father but by me so with Jesus saying that no way to God the only thing that will get us to God is through Jesus's blood he came on the earth and shed his blood so that we could be glorified through him to God 1 Timothy 2 5 says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. So Jesus Christ is, is our Lord and Savior if we ask him. That's the only way to heaven. If we don't accept Jesus, the only other option is hell. God is a righteous judge. That's why he sent his only son that we could be covered in the blood. In Hebrews 13 8, <clears throat> it tells us Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible also says, We must confess him as Lord, that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. In Romans 10, 9, If Jesus is not Lord of all, then he is the Lord of none. So that is the main reason for Easter. God sent his Son to die, come on the earth and die for our sins. He was buried and resurrected on the third day. He went and prepared a place in heaven for anyone that believes in him and puts puts him as their savior if there's anyone out there that needs jesus i pray that you find him and i hope this message serves you well